All right, so here we have the inside of the helmet. Well, it looks like some sort of crazy cyborg brain. It's a battery pack in the back top. There's your chip. Uh, there's your transistor. Uh, this has to be fed down through here. Uh, you can see the lights are on down um, under here. All those crazy funny lights. Got to hook those up. Uh, the thing that I wanted to show you, and I haven't gotten the arm set up yet, so it will throw a little bit when it goes up, but it won't go completely up. Um, let's see. So I have to fix the adjustment of how far the the uh, the servos travel, which will be shown next. Uh, but you can see it clearly works perfectly good. Lights come back on again. The coolest thing. I think about this whole thing is that once you screw this thing down there's two screws on the underside once you put that on there can't see it at all and it's all self-contained the only thing that really uh, comes out that does need to go out is the wire for the, the switch to make the faceplate go up and down so uh, at some point there'll be a wireless solution for that but for now this is what I'm going to do um, especially for this helmet because there's so much room in it so uh, stay tuned for the setup and adjustment of the hinges as well as the programming of some, some adjustments um, and we'll go from there.